depending on when you are seeing this, hearing this, watching this, a couple of videos ago, I talked about how to approach an influencer, how to potentially work with them. And I said, if you want to find out more, let me know. And I got a couple of messages. So I thought, well, okay, got a couple of messages. Let's do this. So the next video I wanted to do, the next podcast episode I wanted to do was about how to price up an influencer stay. It's one of the hardest bits. So you, you do all the hard work, you find somebody, good relationship with them. And now it's like, right, well, now I want to work with you. So how do you price it up? It's not as easy as what it was maybe five, six years ago where you do free stay in exchange for content. It's not, it's not like that anymore. People, influencers know their worth because if you've got an influencer coming to stay with you or somebody that's got an online audience, an online following, and they've got an engaged audience, then you are marketing your business to that platform. Okay. It's very, very powerful. It's, it's like if you had a, um, a company come to you and they've got a, a listing site and by being on that listing site, you're going to be put in front of say 50,000 people and those 50,000 people, they go on that website every single day and they consume the content that is being given to them. They engage with that content. They click around, they send messages, they look at the properties that are being on that listing site and they actually buy or spend money with the recommendation what's on that listing site. Now, if you were approached by that listing site, they're not going to do it for free. There has to be a pay and you would pay to be on there. You would pay good money to be on there. If you've got that many eyes in your niche, in your country or whatever it may be that people are looking to buy. And it's how you need to now change your mindset when working with somebody of influence. Okay. So how would you price it up? Well, number one, what I would like to do is I would reach out to the influencer and find out what their rate is. So don't go in with any expectations and just say, how much do you charge for this service? Find out what their base rate is. And if there's an influencer that is switched on, somebody that has done this before, they will have a media kit and they will have a price list ready to go. And again, if this influencer is switched on and they know what they're doing, they will have optional extras. So it could be, for example, that in exchange for a stay, uh, they will produce a piece of content and that could be free. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Now, content could be many of things. It could be a story. A story on Instagram disappears after 24 hours and a mention. I want to be going for that. I want to do, I want a bit more. If I want to be working with somebody, I want to be working with a content creator. So I don't see them as influencers. I see them as content creators. And now, if you've got somebody who is very good at what they do, they've built an audience, they will be very handy with a camera. So I'm currently filming this on a Sony a6400 with a 16 millimeter lens. I know how to handle a camera. I know how to handle a video camera. I can take pretty good videos, pretty good pictures. Also as well, I know my worth. Now either me or my partner that I'm going to be coming with, they could have a drone, for example. I've seen this happen a lot. We've got influencers that have the drones because again, they're content creators. They're doing all the things. They, they've got many different strings to their bow or bows to their string, whatever that may be. And so they may also be very good on Instagram, but they also may be very good on YouTube because they realize the power of YouTube. So you can maybe work out a, a deal where it would be, right, YouTube video where you vlog, so that's a lot of content. You know, there's, there's the actual shooting of it. There's the stay, there's the editing, and then there's the post-production and all of that jazz. You could work out that. It could be where it would be, you go, okay, well, I would like free pictures. So free posts on your Instagram and story mentions every day that you're staying with us with tags, clear tags. Um, that would be another thing that you could do. Drone footage, fantastic for your property or properties. YouTube video, it could be whatever you put on Instagram, you could duplicate to TikTok because now everybody who's on Instagram is on TikTok. And this is before you even start talking about email lists or a blog post. There's so many ways that you could work together. So what I would do is I would treat this as a business relationship. You know, this is a business transaction at the end of the day. If you're going to have somebody working with you, you want to be doing this properly. So again, I'm not talking about your run of the mill. Uh, like I said, at start influencers can be anything from somebody, every single one of your guests is an influencer, all the way up to working with, 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 with a business here. I'd be really trying to, to, to make it work for, for everybody because these people are very good at creating content. 
And instead of you spending maybe 500 pounds to 2,000 or 3,000 pounds working with a proper video company, you could work with an influencer or content creator and you get the best of both worlds. They're creating amazing content, but they're going to post it out to a fantastic engaged audience. So this is what you would do. And again, I'm not going to give you a base price. I'm not going to say 500 quid because it works. It works differently for everybody that you're working with. Everybody is different and everybody's got a different set of skills that they can give you. But once you've realized this is somebody that you're going to be wanting to work with, that their audience is the perfect people that you want to put your business and your brand in front of, then these are the sort of conversations. Now, I never do this. I wasn't planning on saying this, but if you need this help, if you want my help in this discussion, if you're speaking with somebody, reach out, send me a message on Instagram. I'm more than happy to get involved. I'm very fortunate that over the last six years, I've been on both sides. I've been on the host who's approached an influencer to come and work with us, which has gone really well when we had the family business. And I've been the <laughs> influencer or somebody's got an audience that has been working with a business. So I see from, from both sides and all angles and I know how to have the discussion. I know the rights and wrongs and the pros and cons on both parties. So if you want my help, uh, I'm not going to offer this for anybody. I'll just do it for a limited amount of people. The only thing that I would ask is if I could document it for Boostly podcast so we could explain it to more hosts, then please reach out. Send me a message on Instagram at Boostly UK. Uh, or if you're not on the Instagram, you should really be. But send me a message on Instagram at Boostly UK and we'll see how I can help. Even if it's just a case of me sitting in on a conversation, being part of the email thread in the discussions so we can go from there. But anyway, I hope this helps. I really do feel that this is the next stage and, and there's so much wins to have part of this put into practice. Who's going to do it? Let me, let me know. Let me know how you've worked it out in the past. I passed the the podcast baton over to you. Please jump into the comments wherever you are watching this and let us know your thoughts. If you're listening on the, on the Audible, on the iTunes, in your car or wherever, or now video on, on, on Spotify, obviously when it's safe to do so, jump over to the YouTube, find this video and uh, let's have a discussion. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow for another podcast, another video, another audio, however you consume this. Please make sure you subscribe and share this and I'll speak to you very soon. Having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely.